and uh, you know advanced or predictive analytics. Really, what we you know what we mean by this product is supervised machine learning, right? This is a native a native um, feature within Aviva Insight that you can add on, right? So if you were to sign up for a free trial or if you purchase just a base license of Insight, you wouldn't have this capability. But this is a module that can be enabled to your Insight solution. Uh, should, should you guys choose to go down this path. And over on the left, you can see the initial model creation. Um, so you can see a, a wide variety of tags, you know, maybe about 12 or so that are a part of that model. Um, and you can see the algorithm type over on the left-hand side. Now there's about six different types of out-of-the-box algorithms that you can use. Um, within the tool, it's kind of like an open platform too, which is really nice. So if you, you know, if you're a data scientist and you want to, you know, I can write a better model, have at it. You can use and implement your own supervised machine learning model in Insight and use it against that Insight data. And then within Insight, on a trend or you know, in the news feed on the right hand side, you'll get a, you know, kind of a notification or a warning that, hey, there's some unusual event that's taking place at the or early warning detection that that model caught. And I can see some details of, you know, the anomaly score, basically a score of how much has it deviated from the predicted or expected norm. And what are my top contributing uh, variables that are affecting that uh, anomaly to occur? And I can do some further diagnostics, communications with my operations staff to see if it's a you know a real you know real significant event or maybe it was a false false alarm or or maybe they're you know it's inconsequential uh, so to speak. So this is available within Insight, um, and uh, again, it's uh, a nice way to implement and take that kind of you know next step in terms of you know uh, asset maintenance you know uh, you know product quality, there's product quality algorithms, there's production throughput algorithms, you know, energy efficiency algorithms as an example. So it's not just, you know, preventing un unwarranted downtime, but other aspects and scopes that can be implemented within uh, uh, the predictive analytics scope. 